All right, so today I'm going to be putting together a digital power and current meter, uh, voltage and current meter, for my RV. Uh, this particular unit is 99 amps, and it's uh, passive AC, and then uh, AC 0 or 80 to 300 volts. It's the operating voltage of the electronics. So I have a 240 volt split phase system, so I'm going to actually use two of these, so I can monitor each of the legs independently. Show you just what it looks like. There's two parts to it. This is the actual meter, VAC and amps AC. And it shows you how to hook it up here in the back. It's pretty straightforward. It takes input voltage here and input current here. And again, this is a passive, so we're not passing any actual current through this device. All right, so I'll get these. Uh, I have to solder up a cable to extend this to where it needs to go to the power inlet, and then we'll get it wired up. All right, so this is the main control panel area, which I've uh, taken the control panel out already. I'm going to mount these two units up here at the very top. There's no reason to ever get to them; they just need to display information. So I'm going to try to compress these back into this corner as best I can. Um, pull my multi-tool, cut two. This is like paper thin. Probably cut it with a knife. Um, I'm going to just cut two uh, holes for these boxes here and here for my two phases. Alright, so here's the finished cable product. I'm in a hurry so I'm not showing every step here, but I'm using uh, two wires for each of the phases for the ammeters. And then the voltmeters will go off of these other two wires. And I'm just using this Cat5 for this. It's uh, almost no power at all, so it shouldn't be an issue. And the other end has uh, the other set. This is uh, how it hooks up into the back of the meters. So this is one meter, this is the other meter, one for each phase. It's crazy windy outside today. All right, so I've got my leads run down here to the uh, auto transfer switch which is where all the power comes in so this is the main feed to the breaker box so I'm going to mount these on the two legs inside of the auto transfer switch so I can see the power actually being consumed alright so this is how it looks wired up I've got my two hots here with my um, non-contact meters there for current and then these are the voltmeters so they're just tied into the two hots and then they share a common neutral. So these, uh, I'm going to just dress this all back up and then these go straight to the meters in the other compartment. Alright, now that I've tested everything working I've just dressed this out a little bit better so that the leads won't get into anything and there's some strain relief there just to make sure that uh, over time this thing doesn't vibrate loose or anything like that. Uh, keeping these coils held up away from these terminals again so they don't come in contact with it They're all insulated really well, but just kind of, sort of uh, extra precautions here Tighten down these lugs and we're ready to fire it up 